Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my channel and today I am going to be giving you my first impressions on this Le Hit Lab pen case. It is L-I-H-I-T Lab pen case. I got this on Amazon for $9.08 with shipping. It came to like $16. I will link it down below. Also JetPens.com sells this case and I will also link that down below. Um, I have seen this case on a bunch of Bujo um, Instagram accounts, which is bullet journaling. Um, a lot of study accounts, they have this pen, um, pen case, and I just thought, okay, I need this pen case. I've been wanting it for a few months now, and I finally decided to take the plunge and get it. I got bright orange. That way I would never miss it. <laughs> um, but yes, I do want to show you my first impression. We'll give you my first impression of this bag and show you what's in it. This is what the tag looks like when you get it. It's um, made by a Japanese company, so you're going to get it in Japanese. And this is basically what it shows you. You know, shows you what you can put in there: pens, pencils, and then it has three little small pockets, and then it has this over here. Just gives you an option of what to put in here, but you can put whatever you want to put in here. So, first I'm gonna zip this, because I'm gonna show you the outside of it. It does come with two zippers, which is nice. Um, it does have two pockets, two tight pockets right here, so you can put some stuff in there, and it's gonna fit very snug. Um, right here it says designed for arrangement. Can we focus on that? It says designed for arrangement. I think what basically what that means is that just for arranging things in the inside. But yes, this is what it looks like right here and this is what the back looks like. It's very compact. And the reason I got this is because as much as I love my Recollections um, pen case, it's not very travel friendly. I mean, I could take it with me, but it's going to take up a bulk of my bag. But this is going to allow me to put it in some of my medium sized bags and still have room to carry my wallet and my planner and whatnot. So let's open this up so you can see what's inside of here. Um, okay. So this is what I have in the first pocket. Um, it does have these two slots I and mean, these two like little places right here so you can clip pins on there and you can also put pins that don't have clips on them. I have a Mammy pin in here. I have three Papermate Ink Joys and three Papermate Flares and I have my mild liners which you guys know. I just got these and I absolutely love them. I just put things in here that I would take with me on the go. If I were to throw this pin, um, this case, in my bag, what would I need with me basically? And so I knew that I would most definitely carry my mild liners and these are the pins I love the most so definitely those. And so it does come with these two little um, straps right here to keep your pen secure and it does come with one over here and this one is a little bit more um, has a full you know pocket right here unlike this one um, and then on this side right here are some things that I would take with me on the go like so we have I have sugar paper um, post-its and page flags and I have my backup battery my SD um, card reader that hooks up to my phone and a block for my charger so if I were to carry my cord with me I can charge my phone I can also charge my battery so you know in case I'm out for a while if I'm traveling which I'm going to be doing some traveling this year so this would be great to carry with me but Right here, you get three mesh pockets. Um, the top one is, uh, I think they're the same size. I think they're the same size. Um, so you get three smaller mesh pockets. So this is great for if you want to carry page flags, a USB drive, um, if you want to carry you know, some small stickers. And then you can add some scissors over here. I don't carry scissors with me. I'm not a crafter. <laughs> as long as I have some pens on me and some post notes if I need to write something down and just kind of stick it, then I have that option. Um, First impression of this bag is I think it's a really well-made bag. I think it's kind of unique to what other bags are out there. I like that you can put more than just pins. I mean, in other pin cases you can, like the Kipling, you can put some stuff at the bottom. But the Kipling is actually a pretty huge bag compared to this one. This one is very compact, it's very um, small, and it's easy to carry with you. Um, I don't have anything in this pocket because I couldn't think of anything else and that's fine. Um, I do like that I can keep this stuff in here and it's great because if I need to use a couple of pens or if I want to you know plan in my bedroom or whatever I can take this with me and I have my mild liners and my pens with me and so my first impression of this bag is that I really like it a lot 
I'm glad that I got it. Um, it's just a really nice, well-made bag. And like, I don't have anything in the front right here. I couldn't, I didn't, couldn't think of anything that I would put in here. Um, I guess if you're like a sticker or a page flag fanatic, you can put some right here. Um, I'm not, but I just put like the bare essentials in. Um, these, I kept forgetting that I had them. So I was like, let me put them in here. That way I always see them and they can get some use. So that is what I carry in this La Hit Lab pen case. Very short first impression. Uh, I really just really like it. <laughs> um, it carries, um, you know, my most favorite pens and all of that. And I could easily fit more in here, but I don't, I'm not going to. Um, I don't think I need more than seven pens on me at one point at one time and then I have my mild liners and whatnot So, you know, even though there's this block in here, there's no problem with the bulk So I just want to zip it up to show you I, I meant to show that a little bit earlier, but I like to have this in the middle And you know, even though there's that block right there It I mean it sticks out a little bit, but it's not bulging. You know if it was bulging I would just take it out, but it doesn't you know, you can't really tell. So it does give you quite a bit of space. So yeah, I uh, really like this case. I said that a lot in this video, <laughs> but it's a nice case if you are a person where you don't want to carry a ton of, you know, pens or pencils or things with you. I think this is a great case to have just because of all the different size compartments you can fit quite a bit of different size stuff in here. So yeah, that is all I need to talk about about this case. Very simple to the point and all that. If you have any questions or comments about anything I've said in this video, leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Get on that and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all next time. Bye.